I'm talking with Pamela Yellen, president of Bank on Yourself. She's been a business consultant to financial advisors for 20 years. During that time, Pamela investigated over 450 financial products and concepts and concluded that Americans have been brainwashed into believing they have to risk their money in order to grow it. Pamela has appeared on numerous TV and radio shows, been quoted in hundreds of publications, spoken to audiences all over the world, and authored several books. Her latest is the USA Today number one and Wall Street Journal bestseller, Bank on Yourself, The Life-Changing Secret to Growing and Protecting Your Financial Future. Pamela, I'm just chomping at the bit to find out how anyone can grow money without risking it. What is Bank on Yourself? It's a guaranteed way to grow your savings but without all the nail-biting ups and downs of stocks, real estate, and other investments. And it's based on a specially designed, little-known type of life insurance policy, but this is one that you don't have to die to win. And you can use the plan to recapture every single penny you pay for things like cars, vacations, business equipment, or even a college education, all while growing a nest egg that you can predict and count on. Wow, that sounds wonderful. How does it work? Well, there's two basic types of life insurance. There's the kind you rent and the kind you own. The most common type is the kind you rent. It's called term insurance. And like renting a home, you're going to have nothing to show for the money you pay unless you happen to die during the term of the policy. The other basic type of life insurance is the kind you own, and that's called cash value life insurance. It's like owning a home because the payments you make build equity for you. Bank on Yourself uses a very specific type of cash value life insurance with some special features added onto it that put the growth of your money in the plan on legal steroids. So you're going to have a lot more cash available to you, especially in the early years. Not one in a thousand financial advisors or experts even know about or talk about this kind of policy, and that includes Susie Orman and Dave Ramsey but it can beat the pants off of every other saving or investing method that I've ever come across. It sounds intriguing, but how does it beat other investments? Well, you get guaranteed growth every single year, and both your principal and gains are locked in. That's why out of more than 100,000 people who already have these plans, not one lost a single penny in their plan when the markets crashed. And in fact, their plans have all continued growing safely and predictably without luck, skill, or guesswork. I believe in Bank on Yourself so much that I put my money where my mouth is. You can see actual copies of my own statements at bankonyourself.com that show how my policy grew during the same period that the market plunged by 40%. It's very dramatic. You can also see there how these policies are different from the ones discussed by most financial gurus. And if having peace of mind for retirement planning is important to you, bank on yourself is really hard to beat because you can predict both the minimum income you can take from the plan and how long you can take it. It's also possible to take income from the policy with little or no tax consequences under current tax law. Pamela, you say that Wall Street has some dirty little secrets. What are they? Well, the stock market is right back where it was more than a decade ago. You could have gotten the same result putting your money in your mattress and skip the stomach-churning roller coaster ride. But it's really much worse than that. Because one of Wall Street's dirty little secrets is that the typical mutual fund investor has actually been losing money every single year for the last 20 years after adjusting for inflation. That's according to the respected research firm Dalbar Incorporated. A new study just out in the Journal of Indexes reveals the shocking fact that for the last 40 years, ordinary long-term treasury bonds actually gave investors higher returns in the stock market, which means that the only rewards people have received for taking the extra risk of investing in stocks and equity mutual funds are sleepless nights and broken dreams of retirement. No one can predict where the market is going to be in 10 years, 20 years, or whenever you would plan to tap into your money, whether it's for retirement or a child's education. It's a crapshoot, and that describes most people's financial plan. I don't know how anyone can call that a plan. It's gambling. Pamela, I'm so eager to get to this one. How can Bank on Yourself be used to get back what you pay for a car, a vacation, or a college education? That's a very exciting benefit of Bank on Yourself, and it's based on a basic principle of finance that's unfortunately not taught in any school. The conventional ways of buying things are to finance, 
lease or pay cash for them. Let's take a car as an example because most people have cars. If you were to finance a car at the end of the loan payback period, all you're going to have to show for the payments you made is your car, worth whatever the trade-in value happens to be at that point. If you were to lease the car, at the end of the lease, you turn the car back in, and now you have nothing to show for the money you spent. But some people figure they're going to beat the leasing and financing rackets by paying cash. So you start putting money aside into a savings account, but then when you pull it out to make a purchase, you're now earning zero interest on your money. So those are all losing scenarios because you're either going to pay interest to finance things or you're going to lose the interest or investment income that you could have earned if you kept your money invested instead. But if you save up your money in the kind of policy we're talking about, you can then borrow the money to pay cash for a car or whatever your heart desires, and your plan could continue growing as though you never touched a dime of it. What's astonishing is that the average family could potentially enjoy an extra half million dollars or more simply by running just their car and vacation purchases through a policy designed to maximize the bank on yourself strategy without taking on the risk or volatility of stocks and real estate. But it's important for me to mention it's not a magic pill. It does take a little patience and discipline. But if you have those traits, it pays a lifetime of benefits. Bank on yourself sounds like it could be an excellent alternative to traditional retirement plans like 401ks or IRAs. It does give you many advantages that you don't get with traditional plans, along with loads of flexibility. For example, there are no restrictions on how much you can take from the plan or when you can take it. And there's no penalties for taking withdrawals too early or too late. I think that government-sponsored retirement plans have more strings attached to them than a puppet. When you bank on yourself, you'll also have the peace of mind of having a death benefit. So if you pass away before you finish funding the plan, your loved ones could still get the death benefit income tax-free under current tax law. And you know there's another important advantage of bank on yourself. The growth is both guaranteed and exponential, which means that you get the most substantial growth exactly when you need it. Pamela, with so many people losing their jobs and seeing such a large chunk of their retirement money disappear, how are people supposed to find the money to fund a policy? Well, the reality is that most people don't have a pile of cash sitting around at the end of the month. But no one should count himself or herself out. Bank on Yourself authorized advisors are masters at helping clients restructure their finances to free up money to fund a plan. There's a number of places that they look to find hidden money, and the most common include backing off on 401ks and IRAs, well, at least on the portion that your employer isn't matching, restructuring debt, and moving money from savings and money market accounts. Some people also choose to make lifestyle changes like keeping their current car longer, or eating out less, things that many people are already starting to do anyway. And once you start bank on yourself, when your air conditioner breaks, you can use the money in the policy to finance a new one, recapture the cost, and have your savings continue growing as if you never touched them. How much does it cost to start with bank on yourself? No two plans are alike. Bank on Yourself authorized advisors custom tailor each and every one to the client's unique financial situation, goals, and dreams. And there's no set amount that you have to start with. You can begin at whatever level is comfortable for you. Who can help you set up Bank on Yourself? Should you talk to your financial advisor or an insurance agent? It's only natural to go to an advisor or an insurance agent you know to see if they can help you put together a plan. But if they really knew how to do it, wouldn't they have already done it for you? That's a good point, Pamela. Well, the problem is that advisors know either just a little or nothing at all about bank on yourself. And in this case, a little knowledge can be dangerous. Out of more than 1,500 major life insurance companies, only a handful even offer the right kind of policy that works best for bank on yourself and that has all the required features. And if the plan isn't designed properly or if the wrong company is used, your plan will grow much more slowly or it could lose the tax advantages, or both. And this actually happened to both my sister and me. And that's when I realized that there was a need for highly trained specialists in this method, and that led to the creation of the Bank on Yourself Authorized Advisor Training Program. Right now, there's about 200 licensed life insurance agents in the U.S. and Canada who have taken and passed the advanced training and met all the requirements. 
Okay, so if you've lost a big chunk of your nest egg in the stock market and real estate crashes, is it too late to bank on yourself? It's really not too late for most people to rescue their financial plan. There's an old African proverb that goes, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is today, because today really is the best time to start taking back control of your financial future. So if someone is tired of the risk and volatility of stocks, real estate, and other investments, and they want a financial future they can predict and count on, what's the best way to get started? You can take the next step by requesting a free Bank on Yourself analysis at bankonyourself.com and just click on the Request a Free Analysis button on the right-hand side. There's no cost or obligation to find out how Bank on Yourself could help you reach your financial goals and dreams. Thank you, Pamela. And you can get Pamela Yellen's number one USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestseller, Bank on Yourself, The Life-Changing Secret to Growing and Protecting Your Financial Future at your local bookstore, Amazon.com, and at BankOnYourself.com, where you can also get a free special report on what you can do today to take back control of your financial future.